Hello dear children I am Alka Jolly your English teacher today I am going to explain you lesson 6 I love my baby from your English reader book in this lesson we are going to read about a special bond between the babies and the mothers so now I am going to read the lesson and side by side I'll be explaining each and every line very thoroughly so now I'm going to start Babies need their parents especially their mothers to look after them just as your parents looked after you when you were a baby most animals do look after their young ones so all the babies they need their parents to look after them when you were a baby your parents also looked after you and even now when you are grown up still you need your parents especially your mother to look after you in the same way the babies of animals they too need their mothers to look after them every animal has a different way of caring for its baby mama polar bear has her babies in an ice cave and the cubs are reared in a nursery under the snow so each and every parent each and every mother has a different way peculiar way special way to look after her baby now here we are talking about mama polar bear mama polar bear has her babies in an ice cave that is she gives the birth to her babies in an ice cave polar bears usually live in the region where there is too much snowfall throughout the year so the house in which they live they are made up of snow so she gives birth to her babies in an ice cave that is in the cave made up of snow and the cubs are reared in a nursery reared in a nursery means cared for in a protected place under the snow the cubs are warm and snug in their home though it is made of snow though the houses are made up of snow even then the cubs the babies of polar bears are called cubs the cubs are kept in a well protected place that is warm and snug means cozy comfortable and they are kept in a very protected way uh, in order to save them from the cold weather when spring comes mama bear digs through the snow that covers the mouth of the cave and the cubs run out into the warm sunshine since that is the region where the there is snow fall throughout the year and that snow covers the mouth of the cave now when the spring season comes mama polar bear she digs through she digs through the snow so that the mouth of the cave gets cleared and the cubs can run out into the warm sunshine sunshine and enjoy mama bear teaches them to swim and hunt the cubs learn very quickly now mama polar bear teaches them how to swim how to hunt and the cubs are really they are so quick to learn these things in a few months they learn to catch fish and seals and to take care of themselves now what is the food of polar bears they eat fish and seals now mama polar bear teaches them how to catch fish how to catch seals and also she teaches them how to take care of themselves and they are very quick in learning all these things and now the next animal that we will be reading about is amadillo so this is the picture of amadillo you can see the amadillo is a strange little animal that looks like something out of a story book You must have seen the picture of Amadillo only in the story books. You can see how strange it is looking here. It wears a coat made of hard but supple plates. Now it is wearing a coat and this coat is made up of hard but supple plates and the meaning of supple plates is scales which make movement easy. These scales help Amadillo to move easily. So this the, the amadillo always wears a coat its body is like this that it wears a coat 
and it is made up of heart and supple plates. The armadillo rolls up into a ball when in danger. Mama armadillo gives birth to four babies at a time. Now this armadillo is really a very strange little animal. When it feels any danger, when it senses any danger, it rolls itself into a ball. And Mama Amadillo always gives birth to four babies at a time. Mama Amadillo takes very good care of them until their plates grow and become hard. So Mama Amadillo is a very good mother. She takes care of them till the time their these plates grow and they become hard. Then. Mama takes them out of the burrow at night and teaches them to feed and roll themselves into their coats so that no enemy can touch them. When the plates grow and become hard, Mama takes them out of the burrow. They live in which house? Burrow. See, so she takes them out of the burrow during night and teaches them how to feed how to roll themselves into the ball so that no enemy could touch them. The armadillo is one hard round ball. Look at this picture. The armadillo has turned itself into a ball. The little armadillos learn to catch insects and to recognize the plants they can eat. So the armadillo mother also teaches them to how to catch insects and how to recognize certain plants they can eat. So what do they eat? Insects and certain plants. So Mama Amitillo teaches them how to catch insects and to recognize those particular plants that they can eat. The next animal, here it is, kangaroo. Mama kangaroo keeps her baby in a pouch. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. You must have seen so many pictures of baby kangaroo sitting in the pouch of its mother. So, mama kangaroo keeps her baby in a pouch and what is the baby of the kangaroo called? Joy. Yes, the baby of the kangaroo is called a joy. Another baby animal that stays in its mother's pouch is the opossum. So, there is one another animal that also lives in the pouch of its mother and that animal is called opossum. It usually lives in water. So opossum lives in water. When baby opossums are born, they are very tiny, have no hair and cannot see. So when baby opossums are born, there are no hair on its body. And one thing more, they even can't see. Up to the age of 8 weeks, they stay in their mother's pouch. Then they come out and ride on her back. What fun! By now, they are covered with hair and can see. So when baby opossums are born, there are no hair on their body and they even can't see. Till the age of 8 weeks, they stay in the pouch of their mother. And after the age of 8 weeks, they come out and ride on her back and now their body is full of hair. The body is covered with hair and now they can see also. Now have you seen a baby hippopotamus? It takes a ride on its mother's back when she swims in deep water. You must have seen the pictures of hippopotamus in books. Now here the baby hippopotamus it takes right on its mother's right, mother's back when? When she swims deep into the water. When she goes deep into the water, the baby hippopotamus rides at its mother's back. One of the cleverest animals is the beaver. Mama beaver is a very good mother indeed. Now, just like human beings are clever, the animals are also clever. You must have heard the story about a clever fox. So, mama beaver is also one of the cleverest animals. And mama beaver is also a very good mother also. 
The babies are born in a dome shaped hut on a river bank or by a stream. So where do beavers live? They live in a dome shaped hut. What do you mean by dome shaped hut? Hut with a rounded roof. So the babies of beaver are born in a hut which has a rounded roof where on the bank of the river that is on the side of the river or a stream. When they are old enough, mama beaver takes them out into the river where they quickly learn to swim and catch fish. So when they grow up a little, when they are old enough, mama beaver takes them out into the river so that she can teach them how to swim and how to catch fish. And they are also very quick to learn swimming and catching fish. However, baby beaver must also learn to build dams for that is what beavers do. One special thing in the lesson it is told that what do beavers do? They build dams. So mama beaver she has also to teach them how to build dams. Mama beaver takes her little ones to the bank, teaches them to gnaw at trees and cut them up into logs 2 to 5 feet in length. So she takes her, she takes her babies to the river bank and teaches them how to gnaw. Gnaw means how to cut, how to chew. What? At trees and also she teaches them how to cut them into logs. Logs means long pieces of wood. And the length of the logs must be 2 feet to 5 feet. Then they must learn to roll the logs into the river. The little beavers learn to fill the gaps in the logs with stones and plaster them with mud. So now after cutting the trees into logs of 2 to 5 feet in length, what they have to do? They must learn to roll the logs into the river. The mother teaches them how to push the logs into the river, how to roll them into the river. And when the logs are rolled down into the river, there is some gap left between the logs. And now they have to fill up the gaps. And how they fill the gaps? With the help of stones. So the mama beaver teaches them how to fill up the gaps with the stones and then how to plaster them. Plaster them means cover them. Then she teaches them how to cover the stones with the mud. Little beavers lead a very busy life and mama beaver makes sure that they learn their lessons well. Now since they have to build so many dams, so they lead a very busy life and mama Beaver, she wants that her children must learn very properly how to build dams correctly. So she wants them to learn their lessons very well. A baby elephant remains a baby for very long. Elephants keep on growing till the age of 20. Of course, they can look after themselves much before that. Now you can see here the picture of elephant. Here it is mama elephant and this is baby elephant. Now baby elephant remains a baby for a very long time till the age of 20. She keeps on growing till the age of 20 but they can look after themselves much before that. They are very smart. They look after themselves much before the age of 20 years. So now you can see that there is a very special bond between the, all the mothers and all the babies, whether they are human beings or they are animals. So that's the end of the lesson. I hope all of you must, must have understood the lesson very well. And this is the part one video uh, in which I have explained the lesson. And there is one more part of this video in which I will be explaining all the exercises and uh, uh, question answers and I'll be giving the link of part 2 video in the description. You just click the link in the description to watch the video in order to understand all the back exercises and all the question answers.
thank you so much for watching the video and bye bye till i come back with the next lesson bye bye